When we talked about fixed points, we emphasized the importance of stability. And we discussed stability in terms of random perturbations. Your model might say that this is a fixed point and you stay here forever, but any real world situation is going to involve noise and random factors that will move you around. And therefore, for a fixed point to have meaning, we need some kind of stability condition that ensures that when random factors move us off the fixed point, we return to it, or at least stay in the neighborhood, rather than random factors pushing us off the fixed point, and then we go completely away from it. Well, you see the same considerations when you are looking at orbits. If you have a periodic orbit, then mathematically speaking, you'll stay on this periodic orbit forever. In the real world, though, there will be random perturbations and um, errors in the model that will push you around. So what happens if you're pushed off of the orbit? And the possibilities are basically the same as we saw with fixed points. We could have stability or instability, and we'll bring back semi-stability as well. It could be that if you're pushed off of an orbit, you converge back to the orbit. Or it could be that if you're pushed off an orbit, you leave the orbit, you go away from it. Maybe if you're pushed off in this direction, you spiral in towards a fix point. So we have asymptotic stability of orbits, and we have instability of orbits. And as far as a semi stability, you could be pushed off an orbit in one of two directions, sort of outwards or inwards. And maybe if you're pushed outwards, you converge back towards the orbit. But if you're pushed inwards, you would don't. You do something like this, or vice versa. It could be I'm changing between clockwise and counterclockwise orbits at random here. The direction doesn't matter. It could be that if you're pushed off the orbit in this direction, you go away from it. But if you're pushed off the orbit in this direction, you converge back to it. 
And these cases are called semi-stable. Unfortunately, classifying orbits like this is outside of the scope of this class, because to classify orbits, you need the tools of discrete dynamical system, say, completely different, although related, field of mathematics from differential equations.